Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Paul Simmons. I thank you for joining me for this installment of the Thyroid Bootcamp. Today we're going to spend some time talking about the effect of hypothyroidism on the digestive system in particular. Hypothyroidism has a significant impact on the function of the digestive system and is all too often overlooked. Most cases of hypothyroidism are associated with autoimmune diseases such as Hashimoto's thyroiditis. This makes sense given the fact that 80% of the immune system is surrounding the digestive system itself. Severity of symptoms can vary based on the severity of the disease process, one's diet, one's overall health, activity level, and management of that particular case. Now starting with the beginning of digestion, hypothyroidism can lead to dysfunction within the esophagus as well as in the stomach. Dysfunction in the esophagus is caused by enlargement of the thyroid gland itself. This actually causes a physical obstruction to the swallowing process. Delayed emptying time is another um, side effect of hypothyroidism as well as the production of less stomach acid and this can lead to improper digestion of protein in particular as well as all nutrients in general. Altered rhythm of the digestive system can also come about with hypothyroidism. This can manifest itself as constipation, diarrhea, or combinations of both. Now as for effects of hypothyroidism on the intestine and colon itself. Now one with hypothyroidism typically has an appetite which is reduced. This is oftentimes due to slowing in transit time, so one's digestive system is actually full for longer than it should be. Now, despite having a reduced appetite, those with hypothyroidism oftentimes extract more calories from their food than does someone without hypothyroidism. This leads to eating less food, but still weighing more. Many people will report bloating and stomach discomfort with hypothyroidism. This is due to changes in normal flora in the digestive system. A normal flora is the type of bacteria which should be present within the digestive system itself. Now when there is a slowing in the transit time and food spends more time within the digestive system than it should, there is going to be an alteration in the type of bacteria which are present within the digestive system itself. Intestinal bleeding oftentimes occurs due to global dysfunction of the digestive system. Now let's take some time and take a look at the effect of hypothyroidism on the liver itself. Now the liver is the organ which is most affected by hypothyroidism. There is a decrease in gluconeogenesis, that is the making of new sugars, when hypothyroidism is present. This leads to more fats and more triglycerides in the blood. There is also an increase in cholesterol production to allow for healing of damaged cells. Cholesterol is crucial for healing the cell walls of cells which are damaged, which are made of fat. Cholesterol is necessary for this process to occur. This leads to higher blood cholesterol. Um, it also allows for more bacteria to enter the body, as well as more toxins to be trapped inside of the body. There's also a decrease in bile production, which further slows the digestive process. Bile is crucial for the proper digestion of fats themselves. When bile is not being produced, then fats go unbroken down and then are allowed to ferment within, ferment within the digestive system. This can lead to constipation or diarrhea um, and oftentimes fluctuations between the two. There's also a compromise in liver detoxification because the liver is spending much of its time trying to heal the body as opposed to detoxify, which is where it should be spending most of its time. There is a four-time increase in the incidence of autoimmune thyroiditis in those with celiac disease. Pernicious anemia oftentimes comes about when hypothyroidism is present due to a decrease in vitamin absorption. Oral bacteria overgrowth oftentimes also occurs. That would be um, thrush or um, other types of uh, dental caries. Increased risk of colon and digestive cancers oftentimes associated with hypothyroidism as well. This is due to a decrease in digestive motility which leads to more damage of the, the lining of the digestive system itself. Many of these issues are overlooked or simply dismissed as being happenstances but are all too often associated with hypothyroidism itself. 
Again, my name is Dr. Paul Simmons, and I thank you for taking your time to listen to this installment of the Thyroid Boot Camp.